In this tutorial, we're going to learn about entries as well as the delete and insert feature on the calculator. So let's start off with some examples of entries. First we have 5 plus 5. So if we put that into our calculator and then hit enter, we can see the expression 5 plus 5 in the top row and its result of 10 in the row just below it. Now when you're looking at these two, the expression 5 plus 5 on the left here would be considered our entry. And the result of 10 on the right side would be the answer. Now if at this point we decide to hit enter without hitting any other keys, the calculator will automatically do the last entry again which would be our 5 plus 5, giving us a result of 10. So whenever you hit enter without creating a new entry, the calculator will always do the last entry that was executed. But what if we want to take our result of 10 and do something else with it? Let's say, for example, add 5 more to it. All we have to do is start with the operation. So if we want to add 5 more to our result of 10, we could just hit plus and then 5. Now you may notice that in our entry, the calculator automatically put in this ANS at the start. This is short for answer, referring to the result from our previous entry, that being 10. So if we hit enter at this point, it'll take our previous result of 10 and then add 5 to it, giving us a value of 15. Now say we want to take that result and add 5 more to it. All we need to do is hit plus 5. And then it'll take that answer and add 5 more to it, giving us 20. Now if you remember from our first example, if we just hit enter without creating a new entry, it'll automatically do the last entry that we did. So if we hit enter at this point without making a new entry, it'll do the answer plus 5 again. But in this case, our previous answer would be 20. So if we hit enter, it'll add 5 to that, giving us a value of 25. And we could keep hitting enter from there, and the calculator will continue to add 5 to our previous result, since that's what our last entry was. Take the previous answer, and then add 5 to it. Now let's take a look at another example. Now for this problem, we want to use the quadratic formula to solve for x. So we could start putting this into our calculator. Negative 5 plus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 14 and then divide it by 2 times 1 and then hit enter. Now from this we could see that x will equal 2. Now typically at this point we would do the exact same thing over again but rather than doing negative 5 plus the rest of this expression we would do negative 5 minus. Now that's a lot to retype into the calculator. So what we could do is we could actually recall the last entry that we did. And the way that we could do that is by getting to the entry feature on the calculator which is written in blue above the enter button. So to get there, we can hit second, enter, and it'll pull up the last entry that we did. So instead of retyping it all out, we could just go to the plus sign and change it to a minus. And you'll notice that when you hit the minus button, it automatically overwrites the plus sign. And then you just hit enter to get the other result. But what happens if you need to change some numbers, like these ones, for example? 
Well, what we could do is call up our previous entry and start changing some of those numbers. So instead of 5, like we had before, we need to put a 1 there. So we'll just put our cursor over the 5 and then hit 1. And the 1 will automatically overwrite the 5. So we go back to the other 5 here and put 1. Now right here, we need to have a 10. But at this point, there's a 1. Now we need to be careful, because if we just start typing in a 0 after the 1 we already have there, the 0 overwrites our parentheses. And we don't want that to happen, because it'll mess up the order of operations. So what we need to do is go to the spot where we need to place our 0, and then use the insert feature on the calculator, which is labeled INS in blue above the delete button. So we could hit second delete and now type in zero. Now you'll notice that the calculator put a zero there and then push the rest of our entry over to the right. So now we have a 10 in the spot that we need it. Now the next number we need to change is our negative 14. It now needs to be a negative 9. So we could put a 9 where that 1 is, and now to get rid of the extra 4 that we don't need, we could just hit the delete key, and it'll delete the character that the cursor has selected, which is our 4. And now you'll notice that the rest of our entry moved to the left. And now the last change we need is to change this 1 into a 10, like we have down here. So we'll go to the spot right after the 1 and insert a 0. Now everything has been changed appropriately. And we could hit enter to get our new result. That being x equals negative 1. And that's how you could pull up entries and manipulate them using your calculator. Now keep in mind, when you pull up an entry using second enter, you could continually do that to scroll through previous entries. But the calculator will not be able to do it forever. It will eventually cycle back through to your most recent entry.